Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Start the timer. All right. Um, <laughs> Jonas, man, just want to say is that I'm glad that uh, that Lil Tay is not dead. I was very concerned. You always bring up stuff that I don't know about. Are you not familiar with Lil Tay? Uh, why would I be familiar okay, with Okay, so Tay? I guess we got to go back, Jonas. We got to go back. Uh, about 10 years, Jonas, maybe about eight years or so. We have to go back to Bad Baby, her first inception. Oh. The inception of Bad Baby, like, Danielle catch Bergoli. Me, like, catch me outside. Yes, Danielle Bergoli, all right? So when she happened, you knew there was going to be some copycats, right? And what was Danielle Bergoli's thing? Her thing was, I have a bad attitude. I have a foul mouth. Enter Woe Vicky. Have you oh, I, yeah, she was appropriation girl. You know who O Vicky is. I do. I do. Okay, she well, was appropriation girl, but I mean, so was Bad Baby. Honestly, what do you think about it? I'm, I, is Woe Vicky still alive? So Woe Vicky is still alive. She was actually at the YMW Melly uh, trial. That was her her latest sighting. But when Woe Vicky came out, she befriended a 12-year-old girl. Or no, she had to be younger. I think she was like 11, 9 or 11 back then. Either way, she was like 9 at the time. Uh, a girl from Canada, an Asian girl. Her name, Lil, oh. her name, Lil Tay. Oh, Lil Tay. You said I thought you said Lil Bay. I remember Lil Tay. You remember Lil Tay? I remember hearing about like all the like her mom was like not so not good. Apparently, her family was well to do, and she was the world's youngest flexer because she would take pictures of herself in expensive cars owned by her owned by her parents obviously because at 9 years old how can you flex anything um recently came in the news that little Tay had passed away deceased the uh it was looking as though her brother had passed away as well it was oh, looking wow. it was looking towards a uh, there was rumors of a murder there was rumors of murder suicide there was rumors of double suicide there was rumors of a car accident um, a lot of people had fun with the AI generated articles and there was a lot of speculation. It was uh, running the, running it up in the uh, on the X sphere, the Twitter sphere and, and on Reddit as well. Come was to it all her doing it to get famous? Come to yeah. find out she was not dead. Um, oh. but, uh, yeah, it, it, it's very, it's very interesting because like there was a uh, certain social medias that were changed to like, one of them said like, uh, help me. And, uh, they had the police department that contacted the father, but he did not confirm or deny her being alive, which was odd. So it was done by the family to get them back in the, in like the forefront. It, it seems that way. Um, after they saw that it got to be way more viral than they thought, because you literally said that a 14 year old girl was dead and one that had been. Now they're claiming they're hacked. Yes, they were claiming that they were hacked. Her and her brother at the same time? Yeah. Uh, seems a little off, right? So, how far does it go, man? I mean, how far for the I'll cloud? tell you what. Sleuthing Gen Zers Instagrams is not my forte, but get it? See what I did there? <laughs> Silent. <laughs> I don't. What? I, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Nothing. That physically hurt me. <laughs> You're dead inside. Like yeah, like honestly, I feel like I have a case <laughs> against a case battery. <laughs> Because of how cringe that was. <laughs> that was that was good. But dude. keep it going. I want you to keep it going. It's not my forte to go no. digging into Gen Zers lifestyles, but you know, because he's forty. <laughs> forte. <laughs> Is that the joke? Is that your forty? Oh, Is that the joke? oh, oh God. God. So, um, <laughs> so like, are they in trouble of going to jail? I assume so. I hope um, so. I assume that's some because and we're talking about Canada, man. There's, there's. You know, it's her dad. Um, you know what, uh, Jonas? I'm sick of Canadians coming down here and fucking shit up. I am. I am. I mean, Tory Lanez came down here and shot Meg Thee Stallion. By the way, he's getting ten years. If we want to talk about Canadians getting jail time, wow. And I think charges need to be brought up on Drake. What did Drake do? Uh, for the for the um for the enemies and Hennessy's don't mix. <laughs> yes, sure that the strip club incident oh wow i don't know him and those guys got in a fight a long time ago they riled up the club the girls weren't safe 
Jonas, I don't know. What, are you making like Drake references to songs here <laughs> that I'm supposed to know the references? I'm not a Drake fan. I mean, I'm a Drake fan, but I'm not like that Drake guy who like you could say three lines from a freaking Drake song. I'm like, oh, yeah, that Drake song. I'm not that guy. All right. Hennessy Hennessy and enemies are one hell of a mixture. <laughs> You're doing it again. <laughs> You can keep doing it for as long as you want. It's not going to... I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, uh... I don't. I don't. I want to look it up. Hold on. Because I don't know. I want to look it up! So, uh, yeah, Tory Lanez, uh, he he had a retrial. I don't know if it was even a retrial, but he had, uh... He he had gotten sentenced to 10 years. He got another 10 years. So he's going to jail. People are sad about this. I don't really see why. I, I, I will, for 100%, I say, look, if you shot at somebody, you got to pay the consequences for if something doesn't go your way in that sentence. And I, like, well, I 100% don't think he necessarily just like pulled a gun and started unloading on her. I think that he shot in her direction to maybe prove a point. Maybe he was just a little off. That's hard to hey, prove a point. I, I feel you, but I just, it's like, was the intention to hurt? No. The intention to harm was not there. Bad decision making took place. And yes, you have to live with whatever happens there. But I do not think that he maliciously was like, I'm going to end this person's life or I'm going to physically harm this person. When you look at the the wounds that were on her feet, and yes, she did have some wounds from the bullets on her feet. It was not like he shot her in that portion of her foot. It was Drake and Chris Brown got in a fight at a club a long time ago over Rihanna. Oh, okay. You know about that? Yeah. I remember that. Then why didn't you know what I was talking about? Because what year was that? 2012. Okay. What the hell are you talking? That was that was 11 years ago. I mean, I what are you? We're talking about Lil Tay. <laughs> that happened last. That happened this last week. I'm talking about Tory Lanez. You talking about Drake getting in a fight with Chris Brown? 11 years ago. I bring up the recent. No, <laughs> that is the antithesis of recent. I mean, that is far right recent. Are you saying that it's Republican? No, I'm saying is that it's so far from recent that it ain't even Wouldn't recent. It be from anymore. the left because it's from the past. Jonas aliens exist. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about Drake and Rihanna from 15 years ago. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I just want you to realize how ridiculous you sound. And I know you do. After you realized that it was 11 years ago, you were like, yeah, this is pretty ridiculous. It's relevant. No, it's ridiculous. You're talking about Canadians causing problems in the U.S. <laughs> I'm, you're not wrong. And then Drake right. had to go to jail. 11 said, years ago, Drake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure they'll bring him back up on those charges. Mine like, we well. ain't got other shit to worry. Aliens exist. Yeah. What other Canadians have done mean things to our country? <laughs> Freaking aliens. Most of them are Canadian as well. I don't know. I don't know. I was just bringing up... <laughs> The fact that, like, these influencers, man, and, and I can't even fault them because, like I say, if you want to make it big, the Island Boys are kissing. I found out more about that, too, why the Island Boys are kissing. Why? Because they love each other? This is just, this is just TNT with the Gen Z news. I uh, guess so, dude. <laughs> it's all the most recent. So, apparently, they have OnlyFans, okay? Oh, like, together? Yeah. Oh, they do? That's where they make out? But it. Well, you know, let me let me get there. There's actually a lead up because the only thing is that okay, if you're not familiar with who the Island Boys were, they went viral a couple years back for Island Boys. I got the thing, oh yeah, and they had like the weird hair, white guys covered in tattoos. Are they white? I don't know. They say the N word, so probably not. I don't know. I mean, they there they, are white guys that say the N word. There are, but they they look white to me. I don't know if I <laughs> like. If they came into my shop, I would give them a different level of service. <laughs> you can make your determination wherever you want, to, was, whether it be worse or better. That's you, an interesting, yeah, that's an I interesting know. take. I like to leave it open like yeah, that. So you're hey. like, would you give them worse service? Would you give them better service? I don't know. Either way. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Do you want me to look up their nationality while we're talking that's, about it? That's perfectly not necessary. Okay. But you perfectly can if you want to. Either way, uh, they have an OnlyFans. And naturally, if you're a male and you have an OnlyFans, it seems like the majority of the people who want to see them do stuff are other guys. Oh, oh I got you. Like it's so like, yeah. a lot of the other guys on that are actually subscribed to OnlyFans has been pushing for them 
to do something. I would feel like if I had an OnlyFans, it would just be a bunch of gay dudes trying to get me to do something weird. Exactly. And imagine if you're doing an OnlyFans with another guy. It's you and another guy doing it. And if it's your brother, they're going to try to... Because they want that fringe stuff. Yeah. Now, look, I'm not not caping and saying, like, yo, it's perfectly fine for you to make out with your brother on your OnlyFans. I don't know, because I don't think people make out with their sisters on... OnlyFans either. It's very funny. There was a guy who had an OnlyFans that he was doing with his father, and it would just be them in like a lot of like sh- like near incestual positioning, but nothing as incestual as making out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so that is why they were making out, or the videos of them making out have have surfaced. Oh, they say that they've never gone any further, and that there's certain levels that they uh, they won't go past. Actually, I saw an interview that they did with Adam Twenty Two, the the <laughs> the guy who let the uh, the one guy have sex with his wife for her OnlyFans. Oh, okay. You remember that one? You heard about that one? Probably not. No. <laughs> Into a Jonas and Gypsy News, and they are Cuban, by the way. They're Cuban, okay. Yeah. Cuban enough. B, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. They're very light skinned, so you, you, it's hard to tell. Yeah. Uh, so. Anyways, all right. Any more Gen Z news? I will bring it to you. News feeds coming through, and Jonas will bring you news. news. Jonas will bring you news from eleven years ago with Drake getting into a fight with Rihanna. Apparently, that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to crazytown.com for Jonas. Do you think? Oh, yep.